all right guys welcome to sasumi crypto and tech my name is solomon gift and on this channel we make videos on cryptocurrencies blockchains multiple dApps, and different protocols and also obtaining airdrops so today guys we'll be looking at ethos wallet which is actually a web3 wallet that gives you access to interface with dApps on the co blockchain so here on my screen guys i have the website open ethoswallet.xyz and it has a very very unique and very nice interface that is quite relaxing so for those that don't know about the SU blockchain you can check out our previous videos we've done a few videos that covered how to be able to set up other wallet services to help you interact with the SU blockchain so for those that don't know so SU blockchain is still in its testnet phase and the mainnet isn't live yet so this video will just be showing you how to set up your ethos wallet so that you can be able to try out some dApps on the SU blockchain which would qualify you for potential airdrops so what you want to do once here is then you can click on sign up and you would want to sign up either via the SU wallet or via the ethos wallet if you haven't watched our previous video on SU wallet you can check the description we have a video on setting up the SU wallet while in this video you'll see how to set up the ethos wallet so once you click on ethos wallet it gives you the option to install the, the chrome extension so you click on it and it takes you straight to chrome web store and you can add to chrome should so just to show you how early you are you can see it's just about a thousand users currently so in less than 10 seconds the download should be completed yes you can see it's completed so it takes you up to this next page and you can toggle this to night mode i prefer this so next what you want to do is create a wallet it's preferable than signing in with email why because creating a wallet gives you your own recovery phase and gives you access to your funds so create a wallet click on create shows you your your recovery freeze and you would want to type this write it down you need to write it down and keep it very safe and afterwards you can input your password and you can save so here guys you can say pretty easy straight to the point your C wallet is set up on the C blockchain now what you want to do next is you want to get the testnet tokens so you click on get so that was very very instant guys so it's very very instant so now as you can see guys we have about 54 dollars worth of C tokens so now let's see other options here we have the nft stab and Currently we have no NFTs. Okay, we're trying to find our way to the dashboard now. Yeah. So this is more like it. So we can see that the, the, the little pop-up wallet just maximized and now we can access our full dashboard, which is totally different from the other wallets available on the CU blockchain that we've reviewed so far. So here you can see my balance and it's changed the price is slightly different from what was obtainable in the wallet initially still the same 50 million SU tokens but the dollar equivalent now is different but that doesn't matter because it's just testnet tokens so here now you can try out some games we have some we have on-chain games running on the SU blockchain already you can see SU8192 it's on-chain and is an NFT marketplace and here you can mint your own NFT by uploading a picture to become an NFT. Now it's very important you try out all the stuffs. We'll drop other videos where we'll try them out one by one. But it's very important you do that. It increases your eligibility to be able to qualify for airdrops for the airdrop hunters. It's very, very important. And even if you're not an airdrop hunter, it's also good that you try out most of these stuffs because i believe most persons watching this video would want to invest in this ecosystem be it either by buying the su tokens or by investing in some of the dApps so it only makes sense as an investor that you try to interact with some of these projects to be able to decide for yourself if they are worth your money and your time so next guys and um, we can go to the home page you know when the home page you can check what you own and check experiments this is basically to mint then you can send tokens you can send tokens to other address so we can 
quickly try this out so we can send some tokens to our other few wallets that we have opened so we can try sending to this so all we need to do is copy this and we can send about 200,000 C tokens so you just need to approve it from your ethos wallet so just to show you how early we are you can see that on this ethos wallet the transaction history isn't available yet so the devs are still working you can see the interface is just pretty straightforward it's it's more of white nothing really happening so that shows you that more work is still being done so let's check how fast this blockchain is um, our C wallet so nothing yet on C wallet this might take some time so let's try sending some tokens to the sweet wallet which is also running on on the C blockchain Now let's slightly do this differently. So we're sending three hundred thousand C tokens and have have we been debited? Yes, we've been debited. Still nothing yet from this side. Still nothing yet from this side, guys. Alright, guys, so this summarizes how to set up your Ethos wallet and get your tokens. Now, mind you, for those that don't know, these tokens here are. On the dev net not on the local or test net the local and test net is actually the same thing but the tokens we got here are actually on the dev net so you can just go to settings and um, network you can see it's actually on the dev net on the dev net so with this you can be able to try out some of this dApps here you can go to keepsake to try it out and you can also still try out the game so we'll walk through this guys in a different video we'll try this out in a different video but for the ethos wallet we have pretty much covered everything about the wallet and all that's left is to try out these dabs so guys should you have any question please don't forget to leave a comment in the comments box and thank you once again for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button guys thank you